How's it going Guardians? Shifty here and in today's video I'm back with another solo Grandmaster Nightfall. In this one I'm going to be running the Grandmaster Exodus Crash Nightfall on a Hunter in Season of the Lost. Now this is going to be a bit of a longer video so I'm going to try to keep this intro brief. So before I get into it if you end up enjoying the video make sure to hit that like button and if you're new to my channel and enjoy solo content make sure to subscribe as well. Before I get into my loadout here, I do want to mention that I am including live commentary to give you some tips along the way as well as explain my strategy. Anyway, for this run I am using Top Tree Night Stalker and for my exotic I'm running Stompees. In my kinetic slot I have the 7th Seraph Carbine with auto loading holster and vorpal weapon. This is going to be for barrier champions. In my energy slot I have the Lamon Arc exotic bow and this is going to be for ad clear as well as overload champions. And finally, in my heavy slot, I have the Ascendancy Rocket Launcher, which I'm going to be using for burst damage on bosses and champions. And last but not least, my armor mods. I'm just going to quickly show you each piece of armor, and if you need to see anything in more detail, just pause the video. Alright, and that's all there is to my intro for this one. Now, let's jump right into the run. Alright, so I'm going to approach the beginning here pretty systematically. I'm going to take enemies out, push forward a little bit, grab any arc pulses along the way, take out any enemies, and repeat that process until I make it through the area. So once you know where all of the enemies are in the strike opening, it's not too difficult. As you can see, we had another Vandal there in the distance. There's sometimes one off to the right that you can see from this angle. I'm going to go ahead and rocket this particular pike. One rocket takes it out. I'm going to hop up on here to take out the Vandal just over this ledge. Grab that for some charges of light. So I didn't want to grab the arc pulse that's right next to me quite yet because as you saw there was another pike over here as well as a vandal. Now I want to make sure I grab that. Just off to the left here there's going to be another vandal. And another arc pulse to grab. I'm going to go ahead and destroy that mine as well as that one. And then take out the vandal down to my left. Now we can grab the final arc pulse for the first set. And after I do that, I'm going to go ahead and take out this Vandal in the distance here. And there are a couple of ways you can approach this next area, but I like to head off to the left here. And stand up on this. From up here, you can get a great vantage point for multiple groups of enemies. And with a bow, it's pretty easy to take out those groups of enemies as long as you can aim probably, hopefully, better than I can. So that is all of the arc pulses for the second set. 
With those grabbed, I'm going to head on up here and immediately super this purple box. As you can see, that very easily cleared out a ton of the enemies over here. I'm going to go ahead and rocket this overload champion twice. And the champion should go down. And now we can move on to the next area. Make sure I grab any of this heavy ammo. There are quite a few overload champions in this particular strike. All right, more heavy ammo, that's perfect. Gotta be careful for these wretches here. And again, we're gonna have another overload champion right up here. And I'm going to be full up on heavy ammo again. As we approach this area up here, I want to go ahead and try to take out some enemies right away. Mainly some of these dregs, if I can hit them. The reason I want to take out the dregs is they're going to spam art grenades otherwise. Go ahead and stun a couple of these champions here. See if I can get another drag or two down. The Marauder. Well, that was a close one. I got hit by all of the arc shots from that particular captain. There is still one drag off to the left there. As you can see, the grenade that flew in. This part is a little bit challenging, fighting two overloads when both of their arc bolts are coming your way. Gonna go ahead and prevent that one from healing. I was gonna try to stun the other one. There, I got a stun on both of them. You always want to make sure to use your overload weapon to prevent healing between stuns. If you didn't know that, overload weapons can still prevent the overload champion from healing, even if you can't stun them again yet. Alright, so before you get too comfortable out here, you always want to look around for any invisible marauders that may be hanging out. You don't want them sneaking up on you and, and hitting you with their melee ability. So grab some ammo, now I'm going to start the plate capture. So for this part, we're either going to be standing on the plate or we're going to be standing back there in some cover. I like to try to spawn kill some enemies here, especially drag so I can avoid the grenade spam. I'm going to go ahead and stun that overload that spawned. At the beginning here, I try to get both overload champions to spawn before I head off the plate. That doesn't always happen though. In this case it did. I'm going to have two overload champions to contend with. All 
right, we got one on the plate here. It's better if they're standing right next to each other, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that to happen. I'm just going to kind of try to keep both of them stunned. They're both right next to each other, so I'll be able to hit both of them with my bow. The poison splash damage here might keep both of them stunned. I don't think it kept that one stunned, unfortunately. One champion down. Now we can move on to the second one, which is almost already halfway dead. After both those champions are down and the rest of the ads are cleared out, you can resume capturing the plate. Looks like there was a drag left. Wasn't really bothering me, so I didn't notice it. So again, for this section, I like to try to spawn kill certain waves of ads before they become a problem. Once you hit 50%, you can't capture anymore and you're going to end up having two barrier champions and a bunch of arc shanks. Alright, so for this part, I'm going to try to get this champion to teleport. I'm actually going to backtrack and take care of some of these shanks. I couldn't get that champion to teleport, and another wave of shanks spawned and pushed the plate. Now I'm going to try that again. So after it teleports, I'm going to go ahead and rock it, and be ready for the barrier. I'm going to go ahead and rock it again. Be ready for the barrier once more. Instead of wasting ammo, I'm just going to go ahead and break the barrier again and use my bow. Now, after this champion goes down, you're going to have a ton of enemies spawning, including three overload champions. So this is where you're going to really want to back away. Just trying to clear some of the adds out before they get too close. There are also going to be some wretches. You have a little bit of time before the champions push up here. Not much, but a little bit. So there's going to be three overload champions and I try to lure them to this staircase here and fight them from down here. So I'm going to wait until one of them comes up like that. And as you can hear, another one got stunned. And now I have all three being stunned by one Le Monarch shot each. Now they're not really cooperating. And I think that other one is going to end up healing, unfortunately. This doesn't always work perfectly, though. Sometimes I can end up doing damage to all three of them, and they don't end up healing. But every once in a while, for some reason, the overload rounds don't end up working very well. Just like that. This one healed while I'm shooting it with my overload rounds. And so this is where peak shooting is really going to come in handy. See if I can get one of these taken out finally without dying. There we go. One of them's down. Almost have a second one down. This one has a little bit of its health missing. Reload my rocket with that stun. And 
And this one should almost be down. There we go. And I got some heavy ammo from it as well. Now I want to clear out some of these arc shanks here. Make sure there's no other enemies around. And now I'm going to go for this barrier champion. To do that, I'm going to make a teleport. I'm going to wait for one more barrier there. Grab this heavy ammo out here and resume capturing the plate once more. As you can see, we already have another overload champion. I'm going to go ahead and stun that. Now the overload champions are going to be accompanied by some vandals. You do have to be careful for the arc attacks from said vandals. So this overload isn't too bad. It's more like the first ones you fought in this area. Should just have a vandal left. Make sure I grab some ammo here before I resume. Should have two more waves of enemies left. This wave doesn't have any overload champions, but it does have a few vandals as you can see. I took out most of them already and there's also a heavy shank with a solar shield. I'm gonna go ahead and break that shield. Head out once more for some ammo. And we have one more wave of enemies and it's going to have some vandals. It's going to have an overload champion and it's going to have two heavy shanks. Since I have plenty of rockets lying out there, I'm not too concerned about using some right now. Looks like this overload champion is the last enemy we have to fight. And the plate is captured. I should be full up on heavy ammo. Here we just have some more arc pulses to grab. Now I'm going to move on to the spider tank section. 
So in this area, I'm going to kind of veer off to the right here. You do have to be careful for sniping vandals in the area. I do like to hop off here and go invisible. And kind of scout up here. Sometimes there's enemies up here, sometimes there's not. In this case, there was. I'm not going to worry too much about that, Dreg. But I can at least use a few rockets here because I do have a small heavy ammo drop over there. really hard to hit the crit spot here. I'm going to head back and grab that heavy ammo real quick. I decided to go grab that heavy ammo right now because I couldn't even really see the crit spot. I may be able to hit it now. I think that Minotaur helped me out and broke another leg. And just like that, the Fallen Walker is down. And it's relatively safe from that spot. Just quickly double checking the area for some ammo. Doesn't look like there's any under the walker. Sometimes this overload champion isn't always on the ground level here. Sometimes it's up and to the left a little bit. See if I can take it out before it decides it's going to move. I think it dropped some heavy ammo as well. Alright, so we're going to slowly make our way to the top level of this. And you always have to be careful because there are a couple of Vandal Snipers in this area. Alright, one of them is down.
And the other one should just be off to the left in just a moment. It kind of jumps over there. Alright, I'm full up on heavy ammo and we're approaching the boss fight. So what I'm going to try to do here is use the cheese spot for this. Now I have to admit, I'm not very good at getting into it with a hunter. So what you want to do is take out all of the shanks except for one. You have to do this from the ground as well. I'm going to hop up on here. I primarily chose stompies for this very reason. I, I believe you can get into the cheese spot without them, but I... Uh, Definitely spent some time getting to the boss fight only to die to fall damage. As you can see, I'm a very unskilled hunter jumper. There we go. Now we want to hop back up to where we came into the room at. Kind of go off to the left side here. And jump up here not do that we want to jump up here instead and then make our way over to this box like object kind of want to hug the top edge of it and we want to kind of stand right on this top edge over here when you're ready and in position you can go ahead and take out the shank at that point the boss should spawn now you want to be careful not to move around too much up here. If you kind of go off the backside, you're going to end up sliding down. But for the most part, you're safe from boss damage up here. Now when the first add phase comes around, we're going to want to be careful because we want to try to take out as many of these enemies as we can. The reason being is if they get below us, we're going to have to maneuver a little bit later to get the boss battle to move on to the next phase I feel like I took out a a good chunk of them I may have a few that I'm gonna have to take out a little bit later so we can just kind of spam Lamon Arc at the boss here Eventually it's going to go invisible and we're going to get some more enemies to spawn. This is where you're going to want to be diligent and really take out some more of these enemies. Unfortunately I did not get to that vandal in time. That was a close one. Like I said, you're not completely safe up here. So in order to progress at this point, I do have to take out those enemies that are below me. Otherwise, we're just going to sit here and the boss will never reappear. So what I'm going to do to make the boss reappear and take those enemies out is I'm going to hop on over here. You are going to get a turn back countdown. But if you just head back over here, you might lure some enemies out. And in this case, I got a couple more of them. Three more of them, actually. And there's another one. 
All right, perfect. Now, there must be a few more down there. So what I'm going to do is repeat that process. You want to make sure you get out of there before the countdown is done. Make your way back to the spot over here. Looks like I didn't quite get all of them yet. And this is this is a pretty risky thing to do. And as you can see there, the timer almost was up. And that was a very close one. And as you can see at this point in the boss fight, we do have barrier champions. I shouldn't say barrier champions plural because there's only one of them. And I'm really messing this one up. I have not been ready at all for the barrier itself. I am going to be now. This is a spot where it's nice to have a decent long range auto rifle. So I'm going to get about four shots off. I'm going to swap back to my auto rifle. Break the barrier. In this case, I want to take out that vandal. I'm going to be ready for the barrier again. I wasn't really thinking about it too much before. I was just kind of shooting weapons at it. But now I should be alright. Be ready with my auto rifle. Repeat. Be ready with my auto rifle once more. I do believe we have some enemies beneath us as well. As I thought, there were some enemies off to my right here. And there's also some beneath me as well. Make sure to clear those out. It's nice of the boss to stand still and let me spam my bow at it. Alright, at this point we should get another barrier champion to spawn. As you can see, there's some more vandals as well that I can't hit.
good thing for infinite primary ammo as well as auto loading holster on my 7th Seraph Carbine. And the last time I should have to break it. Alright. That worked out pretty well. Make sure I don't have to wait for the shield here. One more Le Monarch shot should do it. There we go. I was going to throw a grenade, but it wasn't quite ready yet. Alright, that barrier champion is down. I'm going to try to clear out the arena a little bit here. Alright, so I do believe I probably have some enemies beneath me again. So what I'm going to have to do is the same process from earlier. Maybe. That enemy could always come back out again. I don't think shooting is going to lure it out, unfortunately. So I believe the boss is now in a melee phase. There are also a ton of invisible marauders down there right now.
Now that the boss is in its melee phase, I imagine it's right below me right now. Let me go ahead and take out all these shanks just in case I have to head down there. See if that does anything. And that actually worked out pretty well. I wasn't anticipating it to work out that well. And that Marauder just got flung off the map. One more overcharged shank there. Now the real question is, are there any more invisible Marauders? So to answer that question, I'm going to hop over here. I think that was the boss. So now what I'm going to do, since it doesn't seem like I'm making progress from up here, I'm going to go ahead and jump down. And I'm going to hop back and forth. It is a bit tedious, but it does work. So now we just have to be patient and continue this process here. Well, that was a close one. Kind of pushing me around there. So I can't quite see its health. So I just kind of have to keep shooting at it, being patient. Though I did find some heavy ammo though, so that's nice. there. And just for a second there, I did get a glimpse of its health and it's almost dead.
And there we are. The boss is finally down. And there we have it. That's a solo completion of the Grandmaster Exodus Crash Nightfall on a Hunter in Season of the Lost. I hope that you enjoyed the video, and if you did, remember to like and subscribe. I just want to thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.